Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel, Beer Bar and Beyond. My name is Andrew, and I'm back here today with another beer review slash beer tasting for you. In today's episode, I have a very nice beer for you guys out of Brewdog, out in Scotland. We're lucky enough down here in South Africa to get some of their beers. We have this awesome can release of their, quite a name, Restorative Beverage for Invalids and Convalescents by Brewdog. According to the can, it is a Savage Double IPA coming in at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Pretty beastly little thing. Ingredients they say, uh, water, malted barley, hops, yeast, and that's about it. Let's get this beer into a glass. As you can see, proper glassware this time. So this is not the freshest can, I must admit. It was a recent pickup, and nevertheless, looks like it's pouring pretty nicely. I can smell that beer just from here. Wow. So it looks good. This Spiegler glass does promote head uh, retention rather, but you're getting about, yeah, about three fingers of, I'd say a pretty white head. Nice carbonation. You can still see the bubbles moving up there nicely. Yeah, I'd say golden yellow in color, not crystal clear. You could say it's hazy, but it's by no means a New England style uh, IPA hazy, but a, a very nice looking beer. Let's give this one a smell, shall we? Yeah, so lots of your typical tropical notes, piney notes, lots of citrus, lots of tropical flavors, mm, some guava maybe. A really nice nose though, all in all, what you'd expect from a big bold double IPA. Let's give it a taste then, shall we? Cheers. Mm, really, really nice. Quite bitter, I mean, as to be expected, a savage double IPA, yeah. It really, that bitterness clings to the back of your palate. It's almost sweet going down, a nice sweetness initially, and then that's just drowned out by a mass of hop bitterness. Despite, as I said, being best by here is uh, the end of July, it's currently the 1st of June, so I guess two months out. I definitely think canning, canning these, these big hoppy beers helps quite a lot in its preservation. There's recently an article published um, can't remember where it was but saying that it's not always essential to to smash these ipas straight out of the production line you know i think that's when brewers want you to but you never know what sort of life form and or how the beer is going to evolve when it's been in a can for a few months so maybe initially this might have been incredibly bitter it is bitter i mean i can still i've still got big bitterness at the back of my throat right now but i feel it's manageable um and that might be due to the time that it's spent in the can. A great beer, tasty, very tasty. This I think is um, is perfect for what it is. So guys, in closing, uh, a really nice beer. For me, it gets a thumbs up. Definitely something I would have again if offered, if available. A really, really solid beer, and, you know, typical of a, of a BrewDog IPA. So guys, if you like what you've seen, please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, tell me what you'd like me to review, what you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Untapped, please. Let me know what you think. Let me know how I can improve, please. Constructive criticism is very, very welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers.